We begin at 5.30 with deadly stabbing of an eight-year-old boy in Queens. A responding officer shot and killed the suspect who was believed to be the victim's half-brother. Police are now investigating what led up to the deadly scene on 94th Avenue in Jamaica. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge spoke with distraught residents who say there were no signs of any issues. Neighbors brought balloons and placed teddy bears and candles in the lobby of their 94th Avenue apartment to pay tribute to an eight-year-old boy killed in what police call a domestic dispute. He was so jolly. He was so happy. Like, that's a little boy that is, you know, a regular active eight-year-old, you know, jumping around, so happy. He loved his mother. Authorities say Thursday, just after 5 p.m., they got a desperate call saying a 20-year-old man stabbed his 8-year-old half-brother and his 29-year-old mother in the back. Police say she ran bleeding out of the apartment calling for help while her 43-year-old husband struggled to fend off the 20-year-old son inside. He had his father in a headlock over the kitchen sink, knife to his throat, cops behind. They give at least four commands, both in English and Spanish, to drop the knife. He does not. The NYPD says an officer fired a single shot, killing the 20-year-old. The eight-year-old was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. It's a devastating day, I mean, for the whole building. Police say there was also an eight-month-old baby girl inside the apartment who was unharmed. This next-door neighbor says the parents and young children were always friendly. Happy, happy. Anytime you see them, smiling. But said the 20-year-old half-brother was much more distant. He never smiled. He always had a serious face. Never interacted with nobody. Neighbors tell us they never saw or heard any signs of trouble or suspicious activity at the apartment. They say if they had, they would have tried to help. When you don't hear anything going on with the family and then something like this happens, it's like, why, what, why, what we miss? Friday afternoon, police continued to secure the fifth floor apartment, now crime scene, just steps down the hall from a children's playroom where neighbors said the eight-year-old would play. Now they say seeing it brings them to tears. In Jamaica, Queens, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. And the Office of New York's Attorney General Office says it is investigating.